And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Sejuani. Bringing this deck back a little bit different version of Twisted Sejuani than I've played in the past. This was a viewer submitted deck. That's the two Ds here. I mean, this was a donation deck. This one is looking to level up Sejuani faster. Um, we're going to be using Crackshot Corsair to help deal damage to the enemy Nexus. And we'll probably use our Warning Shots, uh, Make It Rain, stuff like this a little bit more liberally. And try to get the uh, Sejuani leveled up faster. Um, hey, what's up, y'all? Um, before I forget, should mention, those of y'all watching on YouTube, I am using a brand new cord that just came in the mail um, for the mic. And I'm hoping that this cord helps some of the um audio problems we have with like some people with headphones with like the left and right and stuff like that i don't even know all i did was switch out the cord haven't changed any other settings um let me know if it sounds better to y'all on on youtube uh yeah let me know hopefully it does that's that's the hope uh but anyway yeah we're gonna try to level up sejuani pretty fast and then ride that to victory um ride that i don't know what are these things Wolves, I guess. I mean, what is that? That's that Sejuani. Wolf Rider? It looks like the card Wolf Rider. But that's like, I don't know. Um, but anyway, the the important thing about Crackshot Corsair um, whenever whenever we have a leveled up Sejuani is, of course, the as you know, like the, the one damage for the trigger will frostbite all enemies whenever you have a leveled up Sejuani. But the important thing with the Crackshot Corsair trigger is it goes on the stack as like a skill. It's not just like a warning shot that happens right away and at the beginning of the turn. It goes on the stack um, like a skill. So the opponent can't like play pump spells or anything like that because it will happen after all of the pump spells. Um, and then it will frostbite all of like their entire team. So that's pretty cool how that works. So that's kind of our, our goal with those two. It's a boar. Could be a boar. That looks pretty boar-like. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, I don't think it's a wolf. I guess I just had like the wolf rider card in mind. But no, that doesn't look like a wolf. Um, but anyway, yeah. We're going to go play five games over in a ranked. Ooh, we are facing same kind of deck, but no champion. I like all these cards. I don't know if I want... I don't usually like keeping two four drops, but I like all these cards. I'll just keep two four drops. Why not? We already got a turn two play and a turn three play. Then we'll start having turn four plays. Probably Milan. Uh, I haven't. I probably haven't really touched that deck since then. I'm just gonna move the camera a little bit. Oh, speaking of camera, I need to change the settings so it doesn't lag. Forgot to do that. Oh, sorry about this. And one last thing. Okay, hopefully it shouldn't shouldn't lag now. I would prefer them not to block. That would be my preference. Yay! Because that's a Sejuani trigger that we don't have to use to make a rain or a warning shot for. Um Joke the bait. We use make it rain to get this trigger in. I know that doesn't that means I don't get to play pilfer goods, but kind of want to save pilfer goods for after Twisted Fate is in play. So that's two for Sejuani. The other good thing about this is now that thing is a three-two. And so now gold card kills 3-2. All that 
Warhor's a little bigger. Yeah, maybe this is like a Freljord Sea Monster deck. Maybe. I mean, that's what it's kind of looking like. Hmm. It's basically, I guess it looks like with those two cards, it's probably mostly. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Probably mostly bilge water with a little bit of. Blessed by snow and stars. Uh, a little bit of Frel Yorn. Hmm. This would be a good winter. What's the rush, huh? So we're three out of eight for Twisted Fate. Boys. I don't think we have any sea monsters to draw. So I think that Lure of the Depths is basically a dead card. The question is, do we go with Sejuani right now, or we could go Starlet Seer and Hired Gun and Crack Crackshot Corsair. Uh, we could go all of those. Um, you know, Hired Gun taking out the 5-2. Um, I guess we just go said Juani. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 certainly a strength. Uh, yeah, no idea what the opponent's gonna play. That's definitely a strength of just playing a wild deck with no champions and something you haven't seen before you can it's hard it's really hard to play around everything because you don't know what's going to show up Stand and fight. So four out of five right now. Yeah, it could be War Mother. Yeah, I could definitely see them playing War Mother's Call. It's certainly a possibility. We've basically seen just Bilgewater cards besides Averroes and Trapper, and that includes um, Lost a fair game. Uh, and that includes the things that they've tossed. Who says I don't share? So that levels up Sejuani. So Only if they attack, the I get to warning shot crossed by the team. Crackshot Corsair um, will be will be doing some extra work for us. Warning shot them on. Warning shot them on their turn. Corsair on our turn. Yeah, it depends on what kind of interaction they could have that would be able to break this up. Gotta have, like, removal for Sejuani. And stuff. 
stuff like that. Freljord and Bilgewater does... They're not really regions that have the best interaction. I don't think I have to worry about like a ruination. There is truth in blood. There's plenty of killing left. I don't have anything to draw, but I'm casting Lure of the Depths for the two uh, Starless Seer triggers. Blessed by snow and stars. And yeah, I guess if if Jaw Hunters shows up for us and creates a sea monster, that one will cost one less, I suppose. Yeah, they're playing they're playing sea monsters, maybe with deep. Or maybe with yeah, maybe with War Mother's Call. Maybe not. Unclear. That's a pretty nasty card right there. These are 8-8 eight, eight Fearsome Overwhelms. For 5 mana, you get 3 eight, 8 Fearsome Overwhelms. Show them our teeth. Best not ruffle our feathers. It would be kind of nice if they shorten up this Riptide Rex animation and also not make it so blaringly loud. Okay, so that was perfect demonstration of exactly what we want our deck to do. We level up Sejuani, we have Warning Shot for their turn, we have Crack Shot Corsair for our turn, and that um, worked perfectly. What do we got? Thousand Shards. All right, perfect. Good game one. And now we're facing a similar deck, but they got the Puff Caps. And we have the Make It Rains. I think I Mulligan Corsair? No, we're not gonna Mulligan Corsair when we have the attack token turn one. Start that Sejuani level up early. We've got our anti Teemo card with the Mega Rain. We have our anti Puff Cap Blunder. Whatever the name of that card is. Puff Cap Peddler. Not a good attack, I don't imagine, against a Bilgewater deck. Um, Jaw Hunters is my good play against Peddler. Danger paid.
I would not be surprised if they have Elixir of Iron with their willingness to attack like that the previous turn. want to attack and then they play Huffcat Peddler. Arguably the best card in the deck, besides the two champions. I mean, it pretty certainly is besides the two champions. Fury of the North. I'm not too mad at that. Leaves the peddler pretty vulnerable at one health. I know I haven't been the most aggressive at leveling up the carved from the savage cold. The, the crack they're the the Sejuani with that crack shot Corsair non-attack on turn three. I think if I would have had a Sejuani, I probably would have been more inclined to make that attack. Pressuring them. All right, very glad to get Peddler out of there. Very glad to get Peddler out of there. Next turn is turn eight. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Oh, that's a harvest right there. By not casting the shared spoils, I wasn't risking drawing another card and drawing a puff cap and getting their Sejuani to be two out of five. Look out for Reavers! 
one's already two out of five anyway, because the overwhelm was Sejuani. I'm gonna say if this gets if this doesn't do a single damage to Sejuani, we'd be pretty unlucky. <laughs> we don't get any Sejuani triggers. Okay, two and zero. Oh. Deck's looking good. Jeez. All right, two and zero. Oh. Yeah, Parley wouldn't be so bad in the deck. The if Parley had more, like, really good targets, it'd be a, a better include, but um, this just isn't a, a format where um, where one damage to units is super important or super valuable. All right, so against the, the Spooky Karma deck, I want to keep uh, these nab cards. Um, you know, mulligan, like the Twisted Fate's great, but I just basically mulligan the Twisted Fate because we already had like a, a, a four drop and a three drop. I don't, you know, not necessarily going to be playing on turn three, so, you know, need to look for some cheaper things instead of Twisted Fate. Um, yeah, I think, I think having one or two in treat, yeah, I, I could definitely see playing an treat in the, in the deck. You know, you said you're playing like the deck we just played against with Teemo, Sejuani, yeah. Definitely see playing entry. Because both Teemo and Sejuani are super important, and then you have get the Puff Cat Peddler and Starlet Seer triggers also. Yeah, definitely. Well, this is unfortunate. This would be great to have a warning shot. The good news is they're just playing these little 1 1s that I'm not worried about at all. Like I don't, I don't think we're gonna lose an, an aggro match to these one one. So I'm, I am not worried about those cards at all. I guess I'll red card. Who says I don't share? That makes a lot of sense. It gets that Nexus damage in. I'm not going to just cast the Pilfer Goods. We'll wait till after Black Market Merchant before we play Pilfer Goods. We don't have to right now. to play the black market merchant first because then maybe we can maybe we can combine the two and the four damage to take down a thrash Cost zero mana. I don't think I really even Vile Feast, though, because that just kind of helps the Thresh. I just don't think we have to. Oh, I mean, they still have... Okay, so that's all the... All, all the Vile Feasts are gone. They still have plenty of cards that can heal. Alright, so 
all the vile feasts are gone. We know one grasp is gone. I'd much be rather I'd much rather be taking like withering whales and grasps than be taking vile feasts. Uh, I cast two spells. Oh, the warning shot. I forgot about the warning shot. Don't have the mana for vengeance. Face me, coward. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Ride onward. All right, definitely want to kill this Thresh. Then blocking is a good sign. That means likely no missed call. Or they have missed call, they would just let the Thresh die and then bring it back for three mana. So that's a good sign. They don't have that card. They are really concerned about aggro decks with all of these Eye of the Dragons and all these little things. That's a great card for Warden's Purgatory. Yeah, they are really, really concerned about aggro. The dark beckons. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. My friends, though. Maybe I should just be playing the Shipwreck Order and getting the treasures into my deck. Probably should have. Just wanted to nab while we had Black Market Merchant in play. Night falls. I will play my part. Born for conquest. Seize the opportunity. I've got us covered. It's too late for you. But yeah, probably should have played Shipwreck Hoarder, get them in get the treasures into the deck as soon as possible, because it just ups your chances of drawing them the the more they're the more they're in your deck, the more likely you draw them. So they have five cards. I guess right before they drew that card from Sentry, I had twice as many cards as they did. It's always a good sign. Spraven and Pilfer Goods. Those are two great ones. Those are two great ones. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. I still want to save Riptide Rex for Karma. It's kind of a bummer, which means I don't get to play anything else. 
Because then they get to play Karma. Should I just play Sprayfin and Grifter? that thing. Yeah, they ain't playing nothing. Hmm. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Yay. That was the best card to hit. Not expected. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Ah, an auspicious season. Treasures of the ages for a price. I mean, they've done pretty well. Coming back. Still gives me vengeance mana. Blessed by snow and stars. That's a good card. Take down Rasa efficiently. Um, four out of five with Sejuani. So this will be five. I mean it's yeah, this thing's fearsome. I can't I can't block it with these. The retreat Rasa deck? Well, I am glad that those retreats aren't just being used on Karma. Blessed by snow and stars. I'm always up for a round or two. Where there is 
Yeah, I'm glad they weren't just saving Karma whenever whenever I was trying to kill Karma all the time. So if I just go Riptide Rex, we're really opened up to Ruination. Three cards along with the karma for now. For now. This will be a good winter. They'll be dog in the water. I think if this does shot. end up with them just taking this and then casting ruination, I think I'm okay with that. Killing Thrashy and killing Karma. And then they would have two ran like if this is just ruination, they have two random cards in Arasa. Like I think I'm I'm okay with that because I I get to cast Pilford Goods also. Um. Yeah, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be my preferred outcome, but I'd be okay with it. Animation so slow and loud. Silly. Blessed by snow and stars. I got rid of two good ones. All right, well, Twisted of Fate, now five out of eight. And then we'll have like six, seven with Glimpse Beyond. With purpose. You cannot win. You can't do this. This may just be another Rasa. Certainly see this just being another Rasa. Oh, they have three Rasas? Maybe don't have three Rasas, do they? Hey, Cabo. I hope not. They still had enough mana for like ruination and everything. So I just didn't go with the abyssal eye. Twist of Fate's almost leveled up anyway. It's at six right now. Now it's at seven. Just give me another turn and let me level up to a city. Thank yeah. you. I guess you can win them all.
I don't want them drawing two cards. I think that them having the least amount of cards possible is quite valuable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, gosh. So I trade Vengeance for two cards. I can't have Vengeance for two cards, can I? Just a seven mana, no ruination. Sedgewani, of course, is leveled up. Nab another card from them. They're down to seven cards in their deck. We've done a good job of getting rid of the cards in their deck also. <laughs> uh Yes, absolutely, Biz. I will I will build donation decks for you. Just give me whatever parameters that you would like, and I will build them for you just fine. Hey, Big Alfredo. And Srammy. What's up, y'all? So I'm at 14 cards. Only fools play the hand they're dealt. We see through all. It's new Twisted Fate. So new Twisted Fate can go Eyes through open. the blue, red, and gold card cycles again. matchup. Uh, nab decks are definitely good against Spooky Karma decks. It's a good matchup. They have a lot of great things to nab. They're a slower deck also. Very good matchup. No, I never played our five drop fish. Uh, I don't right now, Sweet Liberties, no. I guess I can't. I guess I. Yeah. I don't know what to do with you. I guess we keep. Your, um, This game's been going really well. Started, you know, been been taking off more. So yeah, we, I know we played like the Resident Evil Three remake previously, but I don't have anything like that scheduled currently. Let's just do this first instead of doing this during combat. No, don't have elixir of iron. This is the hardest matchup. I, I believe it. I believe this is probably the hardest matchup for every deck. Um, if I play Jaw Hunters right now, they challenge. So, like, my Jaw Hunters just kills their Triparian Glory Seeker if I play it right now. 
Um, which I think that's okay, because I'm not sure what I'm doing with that three spell mana. Because I want to play Babbling Beard the next turn. Beard will only draw Rex or Sejuani. Rex or Sejuani. I don't want a Rex or a Sejuani, but the good news of drawing those is at least I won't draw them anymore. Right? You know, like. So we don't have any more Sejuanis to draw. There's only one more Riptide Rex to draw. So that's the good news here. So our Sejuanis are already at three out of five. Um, very good chance I should just fire off Warning Shot here to make it 4 out of 5. I'm gonna do that. Alright, Harsh Winds is pretty likely. If it's Harsh Winds, I don't want to challenge with the Sejuani. Five, five. We got rid of a 5-5 five, five and a Harsh Winds from hand for the price of 5 health on our Sejuani. Pain is nothing. chat are doing good. Can you please create a Trindamir and a Nivea War Mother deck? Okay, I really like the deck and I want to see you playing it with your own spin on the deck. Much love from Kuwait. Awesome. Alright, will do. Oh, I guess I could have gone Sprayfin and still had the mana for that. I, I, forgot about the, I forgot about the one extra mana that Sprayfin gives us. Is Quay really nice? Yeah, I don't know if this is the best Riptide, to be honest. Yeah, I wish I would have played Zap the previous turn. Um... The call before the storm. I don't know. I don't know if this is the best Riptide. Maybe not. Keep up, keep up. That makes life worse. That certainly makes life worse. They, they can just cast all three of those? Oh, no, no, no. That's 15 mana. They can't cast all three next turn. Okay. Um, so we're still fine. Not too much different. Mm. 
Play this! Oh gosh, I ran out of time. I almost ran out of time. I did not think of Crystal Arrow. We're still good. I think we're still good. Yes. Perfect to make it rain. I was forced by wind. I forgot about Crystal Arrow. I should have gone straight to attacks. And dealt that damage and furied instead of playing the spray fin. I mean, that would have been just a lot different if I would have just played the spray fin the turn before. And that also helps. Biz, thanks for gifting a sub. And we got uh, first of the day, Ampsy. Joining the stream. Welcome, Ampsy. So that's actually our first sub of the day. Right I didn't change this from yesterday's stream to two out of five. You can just cast two of these, but casting two of those isn't going to kill me. So hopefully we're okay with the double fury. Them being at seven, us having all this stuff. Hopefully we're okay. It would have definitely been nice if I would have just got some more damage in last turn. It's a sad assessor. Kill Sejuani. Potato. All right, yeah, you got a donation deck there. Timo Ledros or Timo Callista. Reviving Chump Wump mid mid game. Any day, even Monday, would be fine. Okay, cool. And that's that's for me to build, right, Potato? All right, cool. All right, what are we playing against? Brahmanivia. I think I like this hand against Brahmanivia. It's slow for sure, but it's got a lot of nab, and I think nab's going to be very important for this matchup. The dead don't need riches. Alright, so Potatoes was Timo Ledros Can see the Calista Revive Chump Lump That's too bad they had that thing and I don't get to hit him again. I would love to draw Draw warning shot. That'd be nice. Yeah, so that's this is definitely the nab but matchup. So I like having all these nab cards. Danger well, At least gives me something to cast this turn.
gave me something to cast. Alright, and then Biz's donation deck is Trindamir, Anivia, War Mother. For the homestead. Let us get going. All right. We will get those. Keep up, keep up. Oh man. First we fight. If we just get to do damage to them. And then, of course, we have to start stabilizing. Braum is going to be a problem. That is a way to guarantee to do damage to them. Um, if I play that, and then play Black Market Merchant, I only get to go one pill for goods, where... I never missed. I ain't no small. No, another Vile Feast? Come on. Alright, well, we don't get to go Black Market Merchant first. Safety will cost you. Time for talking to Show me your best. I'm always up for a round or two. This will be this will act as a warning shot this turn. Turn on plunder. For the merchants. And it should just be like, I guess. I may run out of cards. Or like space in hand for cards, but we could just level up Twisted Fate with just double filter goods. This turn. But I guess I don't have I don't have room to draw all those cards. Yeah, I already got 10. Gotta trust your instincts. Hmm. Didn't have anything. The amount of cards we could have is is really quite silly. What's that noise? All right, so Twisted Fate's now leveled up. And of course, I have Rekindler that can bring back Looks Twisted like Fate. But that's that's why I play Chronicler of Ruin and not 
That's why I played Chronicler and not just play Yorogrifter, just so that I could also have that Glimpse Beyond available later. I do need to just throw away this Warning Shot if I want to draw this card on top of my deck. Otherwise, it'll just get obliterated. Um... So I probably need to play it. Yeah, the warning shot is good with Twisted Fate. Oh, I'm glad I I'm glad we played it. Because Black Market Merchant is even better. Only fools play the hand they're dealt. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Eyes open. Oh, I'm going to run out of room, aren't I? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, this one's getting obliterated. Darn it. Eh, well. Sorry, warning shots. What's the rush, huh? stuff looks like trouble how can Brom end I never disclose my sources. Soak it in. No. <laughs> Sorry, Rex. The card advantage in our deck is pretty silly. I'm not doing a good job of not burning cards. I understand. I'm not doing a good job of not burning stuff. Eight cards. The Freljord's eternal guardian. It's just not gonna happen. It's not gonna stun her. Soak it in. I bring the storm. Such naivete. This will allow me to uh, kill the Anivia because we have like both of them. So like this is 
That was the red card for the other one. This one only did blue cards so far. And so I got three mana still. No, I'm running out of cards again. Um, I say I can just play anything. I don't need to actually just play spell. We can play anything. Um, cards do I have? I have 18. They have 16. Got a red card will clean that up. Well, I mean, the first, the twist of fate that they killed had gold card ready, so like it doesn't, you know, gold card or red card would have killed uh, that thing. Would have killed, yeah. So doesn't matter too much which one got rid of. Usually I'd go straight to attacks, but I kind of have so many cards. Kind of need to play stuff. And try to do more than just six damage. Whatever. Yeah, that, that will bring them and Anivia back. Lady Luck is smiling. It's hard to get rich. These eyes see all. Well, I guess that that's not actually going to kill Anivia, right? Because it doesn't strike, so the ephemeral doesn't go away. Man, if this thing was an O2, then Gold Card would kill it. It was back in the day. But it's not an O2 anymore. Hold it, partner. Okay, you can make it rain. Kill that thing. This would be a good winter. I think I don't. Nah, we'll probably draw a spell from them, right? Yeah, we have harsh wind. Okay, this is fine. Blessed by snow and stars. So basically, I, I need to protect against more harrowings and like gold cards and stuff, and so that's why getting rid of pilfer goods is kind of bad. space. I can't, I just don't have the mana to play Rekindler and Protect. I guess I, I guess I would have had the mana to play Rekindler and Connect no, because we'd gain an extra ice. mana. 
survivors hmm. an auspicious season I don't know maybe that's overkill Yeah, maybe I should have just blocked and I guess I should have just blocked and waited for red card to kill it. I was thinking I needed Mega Rain to kill the thing. The Twisted Fate's so hard to play. <laughs> yeah, we know they're out of Rekindlers. Kill those things. Just keep taking down Anivia's. And the thing is, is we we have all this nab, so we're just like in there, drawing our all of our opponents' cards. Like they're they're still milling out faster than we are. This will be a good and obviously, we get to go just straight to attacks from here. They're at nine. We should be fine. Ride onward. Blessed by snow and stars. This will be a good winter. Which I don't know, maybe I'm just supposed to be going Riptide Rex to kill them and not do this. Not go draw Sejuani for Fury of the North, but looks like this is going to work. Okay. There we go. GG, the nice 5-0 over in Master Rank. Awesome. I mean, that... Uh, yeah, we just had so many options there with those. You know, we just kind of had kind of had it all. Um, this deck is definitely going to be great against control decks. We saw that against the Spooky Karma and the Anivia Braum. Like, those control matchups are awesome whenever you're playing all these NAB cards, like the Shadow Isles decks. They're just such great matchups. So we had two. We had two great matchups there. We did handle the um, the Ash Sejuani deck. That was a pretty good showing of winning that game. Um, I think our hand was pretty good there. Um, and then our first game, we got to see the power of Crackshot Corsair and our opponent just not really being able to do anything ever because we would just frostbite on our on our turn on when we we're attacking they just all their things get frostbitten with the corsair and then whenever they try to attack us back we just warning shot and uh, frostbite them there because we have our six warning shots so that was pretty sweet and kind of it's kind of like we play more than six warning shots too because spray fins can draw warning shots um so they can also help pull warning shots uh but anyway yeah pretty awesome gotta love starless here gotta love twist of fate Sejuani, just super, super powerful. Um, yeah, real good showing for the deck. Not necessarily the easiest deck to play. Um, and, uh, and everything. The, your hardest matchups are going to be the the mid-range decks, like your, your like, uh, Challenger decks and your Ash Sejuani. Like, those are going to be the harder matchups. The control matchups are really good. And then even the aggro decks, like the fast aggro, you do have like some good stuff like Make It Rain is pretty awesome there but you don't really have any life steal so maybe the fast aggro decks with a bunch of burn spells can give you some uh uh trouble also um all right yeah five win dream got there <clears throat> all right but that's it here for twisted sejuani so those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.